Hello everyone. We have a bit of short episode today. We are going to um, show off my early game mob grinder. Um, thanks for the help in the comments. But I popped on the Discord for another quality mod pack 2 mod. They were very helpful and they thought gave me a clever way to do it. So let me show it off. Let's play episode three, early game mob grinder. And let's get started. So we've got right here is I discovered his mob spawner, zombie. So not every mob, but along with two treasure chests, standard dungeon room. But it was right, ow. We're gonna stop that. Right near um, the edge, so easy to access. And so I decided to make a spawner out of it. So I asked online what to grind because there wasn't any standard mob grinders. And someone mentioned from one of the iterations of computer craft, there was a turtle. Played with these a long time ago. It's a little programmable bot. And I wrote a quick little program based off, or copied a quick little program to be perfectly honest. Um, tag, called tag.lua, wild true do, turtle attack, sleep, end. That is it. If I turn it on, it's on, but the program's not running. So I call attack. Didn't look at it doing anything. We walk up, it starts whacking with the sword. And it hurts. And it'll start beating mobs. So let's turn it off again. And it will actually collect this stuff in the inventory here. And then after it collects stuff in the inventory, I took out the hopper as a test. Oh, whoa. <laughs> uh -huh. I could pretend it didn't happen to the power of editing, but hold on a minute, we'll we'll come back here. And we're back. Through the power of skipping and editing. So what I was trying to say was you put a hopper in there, it drops everything into a chest here. Apparently there was a zombie or a, jo a zombie jockey. So I got chicken and feathers. Um, auto smelting, how does that even combine with fortune and charmed? Advanced permanent luck effect while using increase your odds of luck bake events. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting one. But so far I pulled out of it this nice little sword. It didn't have a lot of, um, I'm going to have to repair it pretty soon, but plus one poison damage, sharpness five, looting three, fire aspect two. It's a nice sword. So I'm going to carefully husband that till I can get a, an anvil to repair it. Um, and mainly my goals for this mob farm are just simply to, early game takes a lot of iron until you get some type of vein miner. And... I don't want to have to um, be short iron constantly. So getting these weapons, even if you combine a few of these, can replace my need to iron and replace my tools. I also got efficiency one pickaxe. Not awesome, but better than nothing. I think I got that bow from a chest. A hose, shovels. So what I'm doing is I'm house smelting. I don't, there's a weird, that's a weird, I'm, also, these things can smelt into uh, nuggets. <laughs> not a lot of iron. You need nine items to get one iron ore, but between not spending iron, I have one iron block drop too. Everything. A couple caveats to this is, as you saw there, occasionally mobs spawn slightly outside. So I think the radius is a little bigger than the size of this thing. So. It's not a perfect mob farm and you need to play her around to it. However, I noticed if I wasn't in the right, right place, the zombies wouldn't see me and walk toward me. And that was annoying. So um, I gathered some um, vector plates, which push the zombies. And I'm going to uh, try to arrange them as many as I got and kind of encourage zombies to head toward my kill zone. So I don't have enough per se. 
But I'm gonna do as many as I can. I don't know whether to spread them out more. Oh. These took sugar, which for some reason in this starting area had a lot of trouble finding sugarcane and the sugar. So these, as you see, these things will push you in the direction, right in the kill zone there. You can't actually walk against them. You can jump against them in the speed, but it's a pain. So that will drag them over slightly and won't require them to see me because I had to hide over there. So let's... Um, also brought some glass to make this a little more let me monitor what's going on a little better I don't think it'll stop the spawning so that's not on so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm going to go break that torch. Oh, not filled up fast enough. Good thing I have a cool sword. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Zombies get funnel in there. Yeah, they're spawning. Speedy zombie. They're spawning outside, so I think I need to build this out a little more. That's going to be a major construction problem project. So I just want to show it off a little bit. And then now I turn this on, type attack, run the program I wrote. And it'll start grinding the mobs. Go away. Not falling in there either. Uh, my goal right now is to build it so they don't get a place to spawn outside. I don't know if that is a feasible way to do it, but what I also can do is just build myself in here. I mean, I think I'm going to open this up. That can be a little more visibility into things. Throw in some. And we're gonna let this run for a little bit and see what we get. And gather some items, so. Yeah, so back a little bit. And we're back. It's been a couple hours of sitting here grinding. As you can see over there, sometimes I need more vector plates. They don't always get caught in it and wander around for a bit. Drowning resistant gravity deflector zombie. But eventually one of them gets sucked over and then the rest of them get mad as well and join him. So it's a pretty good hit rate. I wouldn't say. That guy is really tough. And I've been tossing all the rotten flesh and stuff just to Let's see if there's anything in here. No. So that guy just died. And so that's been running about two hours. Almost starved, not paying attention. Let's see what we've got. So we ended up with. Oh. A silk. Touch. Pickaxe. Where did that come from? Sweet. That's going to be really handy to prep for when I get my macerator because the macerator takes silk touch items. So I can get the macerator and start ore doubling without even the, the steam drill. Awesome. So let's take a look at what we got. We got two diamond pickaxes. Bonus. 
diamond axe, fire aspect. I don't think that'll burn down a tree. I'm gonna attack a mob. So we'll see how that works. Um, we got 13 chicken nuggets, which is actually a really quality food relative to other things. So that's cool. I had an enderman. I already tossed the dirt away, but we had an enderman. Must have slipped in because we got one ender pearl in there. Always handy to have. Dimensional doors. Dimensional doors. Why did that trigger? Well, things keep dying. A um, couple chicken, a couple potatoes. Only seven iron, but hey, that's better than nothing. And lots of swords. And let's look at some of these shovels and stuff. Got to figure out what to do with all these. I was thinking of just throwing a furnace somewhere over here. But let's look in here. We've got some really nice iron sword, fire aspect 2, decay 3, reflex withering, backstabbing, and knockback 2, unbreaking, backstabbing, bane of swine. Increase the damage for some swine mobs. Wow. That sword really does not like pigmen. Smite for knockback, backstabbing, swine. Wow, three bane of fives. Backstabbing one, sweeping into two. I'll sort these out off screen. We got one golden chest plate and one almost broken pair of leggings, so not too big there. Let's see if we have a replacement shovel. And that's an. Here's one. Efficiency four on breaking. That's going right into my. It's going right into my selection. I'll smell the one. Might be nice if I need stone. I see no reason not to start using this axe. Hey, I got that silk pack pick has to stay in my inventory for special occasions. And then this um, diamond pickaxe. Well, maybe I should save it. I'll go into rotation, so yeah. Takes a while. Oh, I've also been deleting all this rotten flesh. This mod pack does have awesome, maybe overpowered, rotten flesh cooks to leather. So great for me because I'm not Never have been super excited about animal raising in Minecraft and having to harvest and farm cows. So this eliminates the need for cows unless I can eat milk, but I have stacks of leather now for whatever my leather needs are, including something I'm gonna work on, the glider. It sounds, oh, that's pretty easy leather. I get it right now until you look at there. I need a gobber rod. Which requires two gobbering it's haven't found any of those yet but trust you me i had plans and finally i don't know if you can hear that but i need to expand the spawner because there are tons of somewhere out there there are tons of zombie noises and for the, we're going to finish off by probably getting myself killed running out here so yep they're all hanging out over there that is a lot. I'm backing up into a hole. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. Ouch. And yep. And on that note, thank you for joining us and i don't know what i'm thinking about there i have no clue but yeah thank you for watching and seeing my mob farm and um next time we'll try to get to that mesa raider i'll have to find a little diamond in the interim but yes um please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time